Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can integrate Shopify and Xero. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below to the description and click on the link. When you will do it, let's just go to the site, you will get on this site called Automate.io. Automate.io is a really good website for connecting multiple apps together. And what you want to do is go to the right top corner to sign up. You want to sign with a Gmail, Facebook or normal mail, it's really up to you. And then you're going to see it here, bots, right? And when you're going to see all bots, you just want to simply click here, create a bot. And then you're going to see select a trigger application. And this is like when something will happen on Shopify, you need to also authorize those apps, it's safe. So when there is going to be a new order, we are going to go to Xero and we just need to authorize Xero also. Give it a second. So when there is going to be a new order, I'll just log into Xero and I will authorize it. Allow access. Save. In Xero, we will add or update a contact, add a payment, add a bill, add a sales invoice, or update an invoice, or add credit note. You can really choose uh, how you can do it and what you can do, right? So we can make like, I don't know, add or update a contact. So now we can go with the contact name and you just like add here plus. First name. And now we are going to find customer last name or we can go like this. And you just fill it like this, okay? That's it. And you just need to fill everything. Contact ID, account number, first name, also primary person. Or you can like simple add a bill or add a payment or add a sales invoice. You need to also add a code here and you need to set up your Xero. So first we are going to do, and we are going to go name again, we will go to customer first name, customer last name, email address, you just add it here, customer email address or contact email address. Then you just add here the date, the currency, the currency URL, line item code. And anyway, this is how you can set it up. So you can really choose which one you actually want and what kind of, what do you actually want. So you can go also here and add here new paid order. Let me show you. And then you just like to click save and the trigger is on. New paid order. So when there is going to be a new order, we are going to search a contact and based on that, we can add sales invoice. And yeah. And this is pretty much it how you do it. Now we just like add what you need to like in every single contact ID, contact email address, invoice ID. You can go with it as order ID. And yep. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys. See ya.